Well, hello, welcome. How are you? Hello, Tammy. Hello, Ricardo. Welcome, Yancy. Good afternoon. Hi, welcome, welcome. Good afternoon. We will begin here in about one, two minutes. Give everyone time. So we can begin at one o'clock sharp. Let me see. <laughs> okay, remember yesterday I told you to kind of be ready because we are going to practice a little bit more with the prepositions and you're going to do a lot of speaking today. Okay. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so be ready. The prepositions from yesterday. We'll continue with that and then we're going to do two other topics, dos temas más that go after that certain topic we should be already touching on section three okay let me see hi teacher well, hello hello tammy how are you how are you i'm doing great here getting ready getting ready i'm ready all right great a few more seconds and we will begin. I'm hungry, también. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry too, right? I will probably go eat something here after class. Okay, let me see. So welcome and remember that yesterday I sent a message to the group, right? Yesterday I sent a message to the group and recordarles una vez más que por favor tengan completas siempre las tareas en la plataforma, okay? Ayer le mandé un mensaje eh, eh, sugiriendo que por favor cumplan con los requisitos establecidos por Insafor. Ok. Now, mandé también el listado de, de nombres para que, por favor, lo completen, ¿verdad? Y siempre sigan con el procedimiento de, la, de las tareas en la plataforma. Ok. So, having said that, I know that the majority already did it. Ok. So, I want to thank you for that. And let me see. Estoy tratando de ver si alguno de ellos les va a conectar hoy. All right. Let me see, because I gave the list. Let me see. Okay, class, we're going to begin, so be ready, and I'm going to start. What is today's date? Dun, 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 dun. Ricardo, what is today's date? Today is Thursday, July 22nd, 2021. Ah, very good. Good correction. Very good, right? Very good. Excellent. Jansi, Beatriz. Thursday, July 22nd, uh, 2021. Okay, okay, very good, very good, okay. All right, Ingrid, today's date, please. Thursday, July 22, 
2021. Ok, cerca, close, close, Adriana. Today, day is Tuesday, July 22nd, 2021. Ok, very good, very good. Tammy, today's date. Today days, today days, Thursday, uh, July twenty two. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Otra vez. Otra vez. Más o menos. Okay, you're doing good. Okay. Thursday, twenty two. Ah no. Thursday, July twenty two. Ah, perfecto. No, no, no me sale, siempre me trago, me da. Okay, Lo siento, no tengo que trabajar no más eso. Ok, no problem. So thank you for trying, right? El esfuerzo. Very good. Carla Martinez, today's date, please. Hi. Today's date is Tuesday, July 22, 2021. Yes. Thursday, July 22nd, 2021. Very good. Very good. Tatiana. Thursday, July 22, 2021. Okay. Close. Cerca, right? Close. Casi. Jessica Carrillo. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Yes. Today's day, please. <laughs> Yes, Thursday, Thursday, July 22, 2021. Okay, close. Cassie, right? Nidia. Hello, Nidia. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, welcome. Good afternoon. Today's date is Thursday, July 22nd, 2021. Very good, very good, very good. Eduardo Andrade. Very good, Nidia. Hello. Hi. Uh, Tuesday, July 22nd, uh, 2021. Okay. Okay, no problem. Sí. Thank you for trying. Thank you for trying. Let me see. I'm going to call on someone else. One more. Raquel. Ok, no hay respuesta de Raquel. Vamos a llamar a alguien más. Um, Natalie Cruz. Hi, teacher. Hi, welcome. And Thursday, July 22nd, uh, 20, 2021. Ok, ok. Ok, good job, good job. Good job. Now. Here's the, here's the issue, okay? Aquí, esto es lo que estoy anotando. Remember, ordinal number. Cuando uno dice la fecha en inglés, es con número ordinal. Entonces, be like, the teacher, ¿qué es eso, right? Eh, los números ordinales versus números cardinales. Cardinal numbers. Números cardinales. Números cardinales. One, two, three, four, five. 20, 21, 22. Esos son números cardinales, cardinal numbers. When we say the date, we do not use cardinal numbers. We use ordinal numbers. 22nd, 21st, 23rd, 24th. Entonces, ¿cómo, sabe, cómo, cómo pronunciar eso? Siempre es el, el segundo número. ¿Pueden ver la pantalla aquí? Yes. Can you see the screen? ¿Pueden ver yes. la pantalla? Okay, now. When we give the date, we say 20, 20, ahí estamos bien. 20, el segundo número, 22, 20, second. Second. Okay. El número ordinal en fecha es el segundo número o si nomás es uno 
pues nomás uno sería. But aquí sería el segundo número. Okay? 22nd. Y si fuera mañana 23, ¿cómo lo vamos a decir? 23rd. Third. Third. Okay? 23rd. Y al 4, 24th. 24th. Okay? Remember that. So, when we say the date, nunca lo van a decir un número cardinal. Así como 22, 22, 21, 23. No, no, no. Número ordinal. 21st. 22nd, yes. yes. Yo tengo una pregunta y el ND, ¿qué significa? Ok, es second. Es la contracción. Second. All right. Ok, okay. thank so you. So, be, be 20, para, no, para que lo vean, 20, hey, ¿qué te pasó? 22nd. Can you see it? 22nd. Second. Y ya después sería 23rd. Que es el tercer número 3. 23rd. 23rd, que es mañana. Right? 23rd. Okay, so remember that we pronounce those as ordinal numbers. Let me see. Okay. Now, can you read the topic, please? Can you read the topic? El tema de hoy. Nidia. Está ahí. Prepositions of place, negative statements, and yes, no statements using B. Very good. Using B. So when we use B, B in parentheses, estamos refiriendo a que al verb to be. All right? Now, the verb to be, ¿cuántos verbs to be hay? Three. Three. Okay. Three. Very good, very good, excellent. Can you tell me what those are? ¿Cuáles son? M R is. Very good, M R is. Yes, those are the only three, right? Very good, very good, excellent. Now, Today is Thursday, July 22nd, 2021, or 2021, and today is class number six, class number six. Now, let's continue. Yesterday, we were doing this. Ayer hicimos esto al final de la clase, right? You remember this, right? With the little bird and the little cat, right? We saw the prepositions, nada tan difícil, right? But now, this Aquí nomás, ayer nomás era de complementarlo, right? Simple, easy. Today, you give your own. No, no voy a leer yo. Ricardo, can you read, please? Okay. Give your own examples. Right. Oops. Okay, go ahead. Continue. Preposition. In, in front of, next to, between, behind, on, under. Very good. Very good. Now, we saw this yesterday. Ayer hicimos la pequeña actividad. We did the small activity. In, in front of, next to, between, behind, on, under. Okay. Now. When I, when I mean own examples, ya tienen que saber qué significa esto, right? You should know already. We saw it yesterday. Um, let me see. Eduardo. Puedo decir, okay. puedo decir yo el, antes. Es que voy, estoy pasando una consulta, pero hice varios. What happened? Si puedo hacer un ejemplo también. Yes, we're going to give you own examples. Okay. okay, my umbrella is next to me. Okay, very good. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Thank you for your example. My umbrella is next to me, right? Next to me, a la par de usted, right? Very good. Excellent. Good example. Good example. Now, what is in front of? ¿Qué significa in front of? 
Enfrente de. Very good. Very good. Enfrente de, right? Next to, ya lo dio Jessica, la par de. In, ¿qué significa in? Está dentro, right? Dentro. 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 Very good. Be between. En medio de. En medio entre. De, entre o en medio de. Very good. Very good. Behind. What is behind? Atrás de. Atrás de. Atrás. Very good. Behind. Very good. Atrás o detrás. Very good. On. Sobre. Very good. On the table. Sobre la mesa. Right? On. En una superficie. Right? Very good. Under. Abajo. Abajo o debajo. Right? Abajo o debajo. Right? Um, debajo de, right? For example, the shoes, como el ejemplo aquí, ¿lo puede leer, Tatiana? The shoes is under the bed. Okay, the next one. The shoes are under the bed. Very good. Aquí es un punto principal, right? Que anoté ayer. When we talk about one, we use is. Acuérdense. Right? When we talk about plural, le ponemos la S al objeto y ponemos el R. Ok? No vaya a decir the shoe are. Incorrecto. Or the shoes is. Totally incorrect. Alright? This will be like saying, it will be, eh, oigan como se oí, como se escucharía, right? I want you to listen to this. Los libros está en la mesa. Hmm? Los libros está. Mm? That's how you will sound in English if you say the books is. Right? The books are. Are. Los libros están sobre la mesa. Right? So remember the singular and plural. Here we are talking about one shoe. One shoe. The shoe. El zapato está debajo de la cama. Right? The shoe is under the bed. Right? It'll be like saying. Ah, no encuentro mi otro zapato, right? Anda para arriba y para abajo, <laughs> right? You're looking for it, right? In the house, right? Where is it? Where is it, right? You're talking about one shoe, and I can tell you, hey, the shoe is under the bed, right? For one. But if we're talking about both shoes, los zapatos, plural, we use are, okay? Now, going back to the example that Jessica gave she what for example que dio jessica can someone re remember or tell me okay okay in front of the all right she said next the to umbrella, right? next to next to Very um, good. umbrella next to next to me Ah, ne next to me. Yes, a la par de mí. Right? So, it's next to me. Estaba a la par de ella. So, the umbrella, she said, my umbrella is next to me. Now, if I want to make that plural, um, Adriana, if I want to make that plural, how will you say it? My umbrella, umbrellas are Very. next to me. Excellent. Good job, Adriana. My umbrellas are next to me, right? So that is the difference. Alguien más que me pueda dar un ejemplo singular and plural. I need three volunteers, three voluntarios, porque después lo puedo poner. Hi. Okay. Uh, the laptop is on the desk. Okay. Ahora plural. Sería the laptop are on the desk. Okay. Desk. 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 All right. Okay. Very good. Very good, Ingrid. Good job. Okay. Good job. Además, that's one. I need two more. Desk. The soap in. No, the soap on the mm -hmm. table. No. Okay. La estructura lleva el is o el are. ¿Cuál sería? Is the soap? No. No. No, ahí es en pregunta. Hagamos. Okay. Así como está okay. el ejemplo aquí, estructura y cambie usted el, el, el objeto. 
the soup is on the table. Okay, very good. Ahora plural. The soups are on the table. Excellent, Tammy. Excellent. Great job. Perfect. Very good. Además, one more. Hi, teacher. All right, go ahead, Ricardo. Um, my pins. My pins is in the pooch. Okay. Remember, usted estaba pronunciando el plural. My pins con s. My pin. Eso es una. Very good. Yes, my All pin. Right. All right. Continue. Okay. My, ahora plural. plural. The pins are in the pouch. 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 Very Pouch. good. Very okay. good. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Así sería. And now you're going to practice all of them. Van a practicar todas. In, in front of, next to, between, behind, on, under. I want you to do all of them. Right? Que tenga la práctica con todas. For example, the, the sign, el rótulo, the sign is behind me. The sign, inglés corporativo, right? It's behind me, right? It's not in front of me, it's behind me, right? Behind me, okay? Now, I can have un ejemplo, right? Pueden inventar también, si no tienen nada atrás. The TV is behind me. The kids, los niños, the kids are behind me, right? Pueden inventar, puede decir los edificios, right? Imagínense que está, o las islas, right? Imagine, right? You can do whatever. All I want you to do is practice the prepositions. Okay? Practice the preposition. No se limiten a lo único que está alrededor de ustedes. You can invent. Okay? You can invent. Los estadios are behind me, right? Los estadios están detrás de mí, right? The stadiums. Right? So whatever. Whatever you want, all I want you to do is put it to use. Póngalo en uso, in practice. Remember to use is and are. No se les olvide eso, que son importantes. Okay? Subject, then is or are, and then the prepositions, y luego el complement. Okay? Así como lo estamos viendo aquí con los compañeros y compañeras. Okay. Remember, no se les olvide las prepositions. Aquí están. Si quieren tomar la captura, please take a picture or a screenshot. And you can share screen. Pueden compartir pantalla con sus compañeros y compañeras. Okay, so I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. Let me see. Breakout rooms. I'm going to put you for a few minutes. Okay, so you can practice speaking. Let me see. Alguna duda? Any questions about the prepositions? Si no sabe alguna, tell me. Ask me. Or would you like an example? I can give you one. Okay? Anyone? Todos claros? ¿Alguien necesita ayuda? Un ejemplo extra? Just ask me. Okay. Jan Yancy, you had... Sí, solo lo de plural casi no mucho me queda como claro para convertirlo como a plural el R. Okay. Cuando utilizamos el R... Le ponemos la S al, al, ok, al objeto, ok, siempre, right? Ejemplo, cuando incluso, I'm going to give you an example. No, la voy a hacer que usted me haga el ejemplo. Activa su micrófono, ya Ok. Sí. Ok, agarre cualquier objeto que tenga ahí, eh, quizás que se le haga más fácil para hacer la demo. Eh, sería take case. Okay. Is in the in our books. Okay, porque in our no sí. puede utilizar el are. In the book. In the in the in, what? ¿Dónde están? En la caja. Digamos okay. las llaves están okay. dentro de la caja. Okay, okay. Las llaves entonces es plural. The keys. The keys. The keys. The keys. ¿Y qué usamos the con keys. plural? The keys. In the book. ¿Y el, cuál, cuál estamos viendo? ¿El R o el is? ¿Recuerda? El in. No. Sí, esa es la preposición. 
pero ¿cuál utilizamos para plural? ¿El is o el are? El are. Ah, entonces se le olvidó decirlo. Dígale de nuevo, ah. Jens. Dele. Ah, va. Take ¿Qué? K, R, in okay. the books. Ok, la pronunciación keys con la S. Keys. Ok. Take Dele. keys. Ok. Dele. Gracias. Dele de nuevo. No, déme la completa. Ah, take keys, R, in the book. box. Ok, ahora otra vez. Take keys are in the box. Excellent, I see. Very good. Okay. Así sería, right? For plural. Okay. Es are y luego le pone la S. Keys, llaves. Ahora, Yancy, si fuera nomás una llave. Pero sería eh, take keys is no, in no. the box. Ya no es llaves, es llave. Take key. Eso. Ahora dele. Take key is in the box. Excelente, ya ve. Very good. La llave está en la caja. Y luego las llaves están en la caja. Very good. Excelente, Yancy. Claro, hoy sí. Gracias. Very sí, good. Sí. Ok, no problem. ¿Alguien más? Thank you, Yancy, por preguntar. ¿Alguien más? ¿Anyone else? Ok, let's continue. Remember, no tengan pena. Don't be shy. Teacher. Right? Yes, Sammy. Infernaf, ¿qué significa, teacher? All right. Vamos a ver a un compañero o compañera. Vamos a ver. ¿Alguien le puede ayudar a Tammy? Enfrente de. Enfrente de. Very good, Natalie. Excellent. Very good. Okay, let's go to breakout rooms and practice. Gracias. No problem. One, two, three. Breakout rooms. Speaking time. Okay, Ingrid, Jessica, Mayensi, can you enter breakout rooms, please?
y afuera, ¿verdad? Esa, así es. Ah, ok. Y back. Sí. Good afternoon. Hi. Aquí nomás. I'm just observing. Estoy observando. Your participation. ¿Ya finished? Yes. Yes. Ya pasamos todas. todas. Todas las siete. Yes. La, las siete proposiciones. Cada uno hizo las siete. Ah, vaya. No. Ah, entonces, what happened? Right, ya ahorita, ahorita All vamos right. a continuar haciendo. All right. Okay. Okay, entonces continuo, vaya. My pen, my pen, back, back. Sí, sorry. Ah, ¿qué ¿verdad? le hace falta ahí? Ya my sí. pen is. Ah. My pen is back the tour. Mm, ¿qué, le, ¿Qué le hace falta ahí? Yancy, Adriana, Carla. Carla. My pen oh. is. La preposición. Okay. Ah, In. la preposición, lo principal. ¿Dónde está la preposición? Creo que quiere decir adentro. Ok, pero ella dijo parece que quiere decir sobre, right? O dentro, I don't know. Right? Afuera dijo que quiere decir. Ah, es afuera. Mm, pero la preposición afuera no estaba incluida ahí. Right? Pero si la quiere utilizar, you can outside, right? Outside. No, era sobre. sobre. Ah, sobre, vaya. Entonces, Ajá. ¿qué decimos sobre? Um. On. On. A ver, on. Okay. On. Entonces, my pen is on the tour. Very Así good. Parece. Sí, yeah, that's correct. Hoy sí, yeah. Hoy sí está completa. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now, traten de usar también cuando den los ejemplos, de no usar el mismo ejemplo. Como decir, si yo voy a usar el pen para, o el cell phone, right? No voy a decir, the cell phone is next to me. The cell phone is in front of me. The cell phone is behind me. Right? The cell phone is next to me. Right? The cell phone is between uh, the bag and the seat. Right? Traten de usar otros diferentes también. Remember que pueden inventar. Right? So you can try to, para no quedarse o limitarse de expandir en el vocabulario. Okay? My recommendation. Okay, continue. Good job. My cell phone is in front of me. The earphones is in front of me. Mm. Are. Sorry, the my earphones dogs. are in front of me. Excellent. Yes. My dogs are angry. Huh? My dogs are angry. Mm -hmm. O oh, no sé, o oh, hambriento, no sé cómo se pronuncia. No, estamos usando preposiciones de, de lugar. De lugar. Ah. De lugar. No ellos están, sino que vamos a estar usando prepositions of place. ¿Dónde están mm -hmm. ellos? Ah, ya. Ah, quiero ver. My... Quiero... No sé. Ok, Gabriel. My feet, my feet are under the table. Ok, are under the table. Very good, I sí. see. Excellent, I see. good job, Gabriela. Perfect. Yeah. Very good, good effort, good effort. Yes, así es. Very good. Okay, continue. Remember, you have to do all seven. Tienen que hacer todas. Yes, yes. Okay, ah. great. All right. Okay. Remember, if one of your classmates necesita ayuda, pueden ayudarle, okay? O ayudarse yes. a ustedes, okay? Very good. Okay, great, great. Perfect. Bye-bye.
Listo, El teacher. Ok, no los escucho. Ah, discutiendo una oración. Que tenemos un ejemplo que es The televisions is between no, the ah. living room. ¿Qué dijimos? Si es plural, ¿cuál vamos a utilizar? ¿El is o el are? El are. Ah, y tú dices televisions. Televisiones. Ajá. Ah. Right. The televisions are between, between the living room. Between. Okay. Between, right? Between the living room. Ok, the living room. Ok, between, okay. en medio de la sala. Ok. Mm -hmm. right. Another, another example. Ya hicieron las siete. Cada uno de ustedes hizo siete. No. Ah, no. Hace falta. All right, very good. All right. Remember, each one of you, cada uno de ustedes tienen que hacer las siete. All right. Very good. Very good. Continue. We have about two or three minutes left. Two or three minutes left. Okay. Ok, bye. Bye. Creo que ya no sacan, ¿verdad? No, todavía sí. no. Creo que oh. sí. ¿Qué ha pasado? ¿Ya terminaron? ¿Ya terminaron ustedes? Sí, ya todo. Hasta lo repasamos doble para okay. estar so, practicando. So, Ingrid, usted hizo las siete. Las hizo? siete. Ok. Danubio, usted sí. hizo las siete también. Sí. All right, Natalie, did you do the seven? Sí, yes. Very good, excellent, yes. good job. Okay, let's go back to the main session. Okay, ahorita lo voy a, vamos a ir todos a la main session, okay? Okay, okay no problem. Qué callada está el teacher. Okay, yeah, I can hear you. I'm waiting for everyone to come back. ¿Ya están todos de nuevo aquí? Ok, así. Yes, ya están todos y todas aquí en la same main session. Ok, great. Ok, we are finished. I hope you practiced. And we will continue with the next topic. Let me see. Ok, now. Welcome to the main session, everyone. Espero todos pudieron regresar, porque parece que faltan dos o tres. Sí, bueno, a ver qué pasó. Ok, let me see. We have here, can you read the topic, please? Let me do this. Jessica, can you read, please? Eh, ¿Cuál leo? Eh, the beginning, negative. Negative is is statement and yes or not question with the very good very good now here we have what si le pueden tomar bueno no you don't need to take a picture because we're going to come back I'm just showing you estoy demostrando los temas que siguen okay the next topics. And Jessica already read it. Negative statements and yes, no questions. And this is where you have to focus. Antes que llegamos al video, I want to tell you that aquí es lo importante es, como pueden ver, el verb to be. El are, el is y el am. All right? 
So for those of you that are having difficulty, you can start getting prepared for the video that we are going to see. Vamos a ver el video, okay? So I just want to give you heads up. Come on. Preparation. Let me see. Okay, we already saw this topic, okay? So that topic that we saw is basically the end of unit two. We will start unit section three, okay? Section three here in the platform, as you can see. Remember that you can always watch the videos in the platform whenever you have time or as many times as you like. So let's look at the first one. Let me see where I found a microphone here. Okay, are you ready? Just listen to this conversation. It's only 33 seconds. One, two, three. Hey, John. So no, no. it's your first language. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You in Seoul? This conversation illustrates how Yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. Let me see. Okay, very good. Now, as you can see that, that was just a little intro, R with how to use the verb to be in question form. Okay, now let's go to the next one, the one that has everything complete. Let's start by looking at the examples of these words. All the statements that you see are negative statements. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. In order to form negative statements with be, you need to follow this next formula. Subject plus verb to be, plus not, plus complement. Let's try to make sense of this. I am not from New York. The example above, when express spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say, I'm not from New York rather than I am not from New York. We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You are not late. Now let me talk about making questions. This is the structure to follow. Your B plus subject plus complement. We're going to take the examples from this chart. So are you from California? Put a question mark at the end. Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korea? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they if you notice the examples above, you can see that we have the verb to be, then the subject, and finally some kind of complement. In order to answer this type of question, you will typically give a short answer, such as the examples you see on the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. 
yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now it's your turn to practice. Give as many examples as possible. Form a question. Okay. Now, I know that some of you already watched the video, right? Many times. And now we watched it again. But now let's practice. Let's see. Okay, this is it right here. Okay, aquí se lo estoy poniendo in case you didn't have time to write everything. I have it here on the board, on the screen, I mean. I'm not, notice, si ustedes pueden ver, if you notice, these are all contractions. Some contractions, okay? And when you do the, the work in the platform, cuando hacen las tareas, try to use the contractions, okay? Try to use the contractions. Let's see, voy a llamar a alguien. Mm, Christian, can you yes. give me the first sentence? I'm not. I'm not from New York. Okay, very good. Ahora dame tu, tu propia. I'm not from, y cambia. Um, I'm, I'm not from Canadian. Canada, Canada. Canada. All right, very good, very good. Excellent. I'm not from. Right? I'm not negative. Estamos usando los negative statements. Negative statements. And then compliment. Compliment. I'm not from New York. ¿Alguien más que me pueda dar otro ejemplo? I'm not. Utilizando I'm not. Ok, voy a llamar a alguien. A Adriana. I'm not. Speak English? Mm. Yo no estoy hablo inglés. Mm. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm not. Remember, I am not significa yo yo no, right? Yo I'm no. Not, yeah, you know, I'm not from New mm. York. Yo no soy de Nueva York, right? Now, when you say that I'm not, puede utilizar I am not speaking. Yo no estoy hablando inglés. I'm not speaking English. Okay? I'm not from. Quiero que le me diga, yo no soy de. I'm not from. Adriana, I'm not from. Yo no soy de. I'm not from Guatemala. Okay, very good. I'm not from Guatemala. Very good. Here I want you to start using countries. Quiero que utilicemos países para también pronunciar, to learn how to pronounce the countries in English. I'm not, you have New York, Russia, Italy, como pueden ver aquí, Italy, Japan. I'm not English, dice aquí. Hmm. It's not English. Aquí es, no es inglés. Right? It's not English. No refiriéndose a uno mismo, sino que a, al idioma. It's not English. And what about, si yo quiero decir, no es español. How would you say that? I'm not Spanish. Mm, no. From Spain. No, yo digo aquí, donde dice it's not. It's not. It's not, it's, it's not Spanish. Excellent. Yes, así es. It's not Spanish, right? Sí. Ahí está diciendo que no es el idioma español, right? Estamos refiriendo al idioma. Pero si uno quiere decir yo soy español o española, ahí sí. ¿Cómo, cómo lo dirían? Ricardo. I'm not from Spain or I'm from Spain. Okay, very good, very good. Yes, I'm not from Spain or I'm from Spain. Very good, very good. Now, alguien más que quiere decir I'm not? Ya, ya de ustedes mismos, I'm not. Eduardo, using a country, utilizando un sí, país. I'm not from Mexico. Okay, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Now, I'm not from Panama. All right, very good. I'm not from Panama. Very good. Very good. Y si queremos decir nosotros no somos de 
We are not. Where? I not. Nosotros. We are not. We are not from New York. Okay. Utilicemos otro que no esté aquí. Vamos a ver. Eh, we are not from Japan. Ese ya está aquí. Okay. Que no esté en la lista ahí. I not from Peru. Ok, pero nosotros, utilizando nosotros. They're not from Rusia. Nosotros. They're not from Rusia. No, eso es ellos. Eso es ellos. Dije ah. nosotros. We're I not from El Salvador. We're not, we're not. Ok, hay mucha confusión de que I, I, they, nosotros. ¿Cómo decimos nosotros? We. 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 Ok, we. So vamos a empezar con. Uh, all right, so We're not from Egypt. Egypt, Egypt. We are not. Okay, you see, the la contraction. We're. We are not uh, from Panama. Okay, very good, very good. All right, we're not from Egypt. Or ahí, ahí también Egypt. What is Egypt? ¿Qué es Egypt? Egipto. Uh, very good, excellent, good job, Nidia. Nidia. Hello. Hi. Okay. Hello. Ellos. Ellos. They're not. They're not from UK. Okay. They're not from. Very good. The UK. The UK. The UK. El Reino Unido. Right. Very good. Very good. Any other? Danubia. Can you give us she? Ella. Negative. She. She is not from. She is not from Brazil. Excellent, good job from Brazil, right? Very good, from the Amazons, right? Very good. Ahora, let me see, Yancy, can you give me one using he with negative? He is not from España. That's Spanish. España. Oh, español. Perdón. España es en español. In English, is Spain. 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 Okay, repeat it, please. He is not from Spain. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Yeah, very good. Now, look at this other part. Veamos la parte a la par. Notice here, these are all questions. Son puras preguntas. When we talk about questions, esto es afirmativo y negativo. Okay? Negative, affirmative. I'm not. I'm not. He's not, she's not. That's affirming, okay? No son preguntas, son statements. Okay? Son afirmaciones. But here on the next part, we have questions. Tenemos preguntas. Aquí hay un, a little bit of change. Notice, when we have questions, we use the verb to be. Como pueden ver la estructura. Eh, Eduardo, can you read the structure, please? With question. Are you from no, California? La estructura. The structure. Um, verb. Verb to be. Ship. Plus. Mass. Plus. Plus. Uh, subject. Um, plus. Complement. Okay. ¿Y qué más sigue al final? What comes at the end? Um, Can someone help him? I'm going to play that. Question mark. Very good. Question mark. Question mark at the end. Remember that in English también, remember that the question mark no viene al inicio de la oración. Nunca, jamás. Nunca, okay? Only in Spanish. Remember that. So don't think, hey, ponemos el question mark at the beginning. No. In English, it no existe esa, esa estructura. All right? Only at the end. At the end, con la pregunta, no al final, only at the end. So, Ricardo. Hi. Okay, we're going to do this practice, and this is what I want you to do. I want you to select, okay? I'm going to give you the directions, okay? No, no, no empieza todavía. I'm going to give you the directions. You are going to select, usted va a seleccionar una compañera o un compañero from the class, por nombre, usted seleccione whoever. 
And you are going to ask the question. Usted va a hacer la pregunta. Are you from California? La persona va a responder de forma positiva o de yeah. forma negativa. If you're going to answer in negative, aquí está la estructura. So no vayan a irse uh, a empezar a estructurar sus propios. Aquí está ya. All you have to do is follow it. Follow it. Lo único que debe hacer es seguirlo. Ok. Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. All right. No se vaya aquí. You, you. Porque la pregunta es a usted mismo. All right. So, yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Short answer. Respuestas cortas. Short answer. No va a decir, yes, I am from California. No, no. Just short answer. No se complique. Ok. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Example. Ricardo, ask me the question. Diga, Henry. Ok. Teacher. Ok. It is Korean? No, 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 no. no. Ok. No. The first. The first one va a ser la pregunta. Are you... Ah, the first question. Yes. Para All que, right. Para que yo responda, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. And ready five question. Okay, the first one, please. Okay. Are you from California? Very good. That, así es. Very good. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. All right? Ahora, if I ask you, Ricardo, are you from El Salvador? Yes, I am. Excellent. Very good. ¿Ya vieron? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Ok, Ricardo, seleccione uno compañero o compañero. Ok. Jessica. Hola. Ok, okay Jessica. Are you from California? No, I am not. No. No, no, okay. Usted, no, I am from. No. no. Okay. I am not. Ok, usemos la contraction, por favor. No, I, I am not. Excellent, very good. Very good. Now, Ricardo, ask her if she's from El Salvador. All right. Are you from El Salvador? I am from El Salvador. No, short answer, short answer. Uh, short answer. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Very good. Hasta ahí nomás. Short answers only. Okay, very good, very good. Now, Jessica, yeah. all right? Select someone. I want to stay, Jessica, seleccione a alguien. Uh, Nidia. Okay, very good. Hi. Hi, Nidia. You are Pregunta, please. La pregunta. Okay. La misma que le hicieron a usted, Jessica. Está en la pantalla. Okay. No, no, no la escuchamos. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, hi. Are you from USA? Okay. No, I'm not. Okay, very good. Now ask her. You are from El Salvador? Are. No se le olvide el are. Tiene que venir el verb to be answer. You are from? No. Are you? you are you? Are you El Salvador? Oh, que si ella es El Salvador, no, tampoco, right? Are you are from? Eso, very good. Salvador. Excellent. Empieza de nuevo, Jessica. Ok, no le escuchamos. Ok, let's yes, go. Yes, I am. Ok, yes, I am, right? I'm going to ask you, are you from El Salvador? Yes, I am. Very good, excellent, very good, very good. Let me see. Um, are we late? Are we late? Are we late? Yes, we are. Yes, we are, right? Yes, we are. Si fuera no, Nidia? No. We're not. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Um, 
vamos a hablar de ellos. Are they from, are they, no, no from, are they, están ellos en, are they in Nicaragua? No, they're not. Very good. Y si fuera así? Yes, they are. Very good. Excellent. Now, I'm going to start calling on someone. Let me see. Tatiana. Mm, are they in Costa Rica? No, they're not. Very good. And if it was yes? Yes, they are. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Let me see. Um, Tammy, are we, are we hungry? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I am. Mm, okay. No. All right. We have to, tiene que ver cómo hago la pregunta. Carla, Carla Martinez, are we hungry? Yes, we are. Very good. Is it no? Yeah, no. <laughs> <Not>. <laughs> very good, very good, All right? So that was just a little practice with this. Tomorrow I'm going to practice a little bit more with you. Mañana practicamos más y les tendré una, una worksheet. Para que vayan colocando. The Monday teacher. Oh, yes. Monday. <laughs> <laughs> no Monday, yes. We'll continue on Monday. And then I'm going to have you do speaking also. Okay? Program tomorrow, please. <laughs> All right. So take care. Have a great weekend. Fin de semana. And I'll see you on Monday, okay? We will continue. Okay? See have you, a... teacher. Okay. Have a great day. Bye-bye. I know some of you are hungry, right? Carla ya, ya dijo hungry, right? Yes, we are. Dijo, right? I'm hungry. So, bye. take care. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you Monday. Please. All right, see you Monday. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, Jessica.